Hey everyone, it's Pride, and welcome to a little segment I am going to call San Diego Comic Con A Fangirl's Diary. Chapter 1. So far my experience with Comic Con has been that of angst, anxiety, tears, betrayal, mostly tears. I was able to purchase badges four day plus preview night two years ago thanks to Shorty's amazing internet and my beginner's luck and last minute last year couldn't go to Comic Con. It just wasn't in the cards and I couldn't attend it. My heart was broken and that weekend I shed a few tears and held on with hopes that I could go this year. Thanks to pre-badge sales for previous badge purchasers, I was able to buy them back in August. I once again was able to score the four day plus preview night and decided if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it big, I'm going to do it right, I'm going to do it all because I'm not sure if I'm going to get a chance to do this again. So I've been waiting incredibly impatiently since and it's now February. A few weeks ago, the early bird specials opened up in the hotels. And those of you that have never experienced this, but the early bird specials are, are cheaper hotels. They're about $168 a night in the San Diego area. But what they don't tell you is that these hotels are farther out that you have to, they do tell you, but they kind of make it seem like it's a great deal. You have to pay in full and it's completely non-refundable. So you're just shelling out all your money ahead of time, non-refundably, and you can't transfer, you can't do anything, you're screwed. If, if shit changes and you can't go for those days or whatever, your money's gone. So the hotels out in BFE are taking advantage of all the people that want to go. Now what you can do is you can skip that, skip dealing with the shuttle system, which they have in store for you, which is great, except for the fact that you have to wait maybe an hour if you don't get up ass early to go, just to get on a shuttle, and then with traffic, maybe be in transit 30, 40 minutes each way. So you're, it's the end of comp, like day one, day two, you're covered in cosplay, makeup smeared, your lashes are hanging off your face, you're fucking exhausted, you just want to go lay down, and you now have to wait an hour to get on a shuttle. It's fucking ridiculous. So I decide I'm going to cross my fingers and hope to get some housing closer to the convention center. That opened up today, February 26th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, noon for me. So I set up my house computer, my roommate's computer, my computer, refreshing with, I put fucking post-it notes on F F5 of all the fucking computers because I didn't realize that you could download something that just automatically refresh it for you. How was I to know there's something that cool called the internet out there? So I was doing it old school, old school way. I had post-its with my address written on them because I made that mistake once and got so excited, forgot my address. I had my credit card written down. I had all six hotels written down. And what you do is, as soon as it pops up, you log onto the site and then feverishly type in your name, your address, your phone number, everything about yourself. You select from a drop down menu six hotels that you can ch choose from. But you are not guaranteed a thing. From those six hotels, you may, maybe, possibly get one room of your choosing. Or you might not get anything on your six hotels. They'll send you like a backup hotel. Oh, you don't like this? Well, then you can wait and maybe something better will open up, but we're guaranteeing you nothing. And even if you request two beds, you might not get two beds. So if you're rooming with friends, you might have six people in one bed. Who fucking knows? I list my six. I feverishly click through all the buttons. They have shit for you to read. Now, time is of the essence here. They let you know in the fine, fine print that they it's first come, first serve, and they group you in like intervals of what second. If you all come in at the same second, then they put you in groups of three based on the seconds you came in, and and I don't even know. I am just know, I just know time is like not on my side. It's like taking a final in high school and being six paragraphs away from finishing it, and you have two minutes on the clock, and your heart starts racing, you're hyperventilating, your hands are really shaky, you can't breathe, your ears are burning because you're a little embarrassed that you were so excited and upset and stressed out about all this. That was me this morning at noon. I wish I had had a drink ready because I didn't know I was going to get that freaked out. So I hit send, and then it says, congratulations, you will get a confirmation email in two to three days. That confirmation email will let you know if you got what you asked for. Congratulations. Oh, and then, as if to fucking rub it in, it says, we hope we get to see you at Comic-Con, as if to say, if you don't get the room, I guess there's always next year, assholes. Swear to God, I was so upset. I was looking at it, I just wanted to throw my monitor. Like, what is going I don't know, guys. I'm just 
fucking frustrated right now. I will let you know in a few days what the verdict is, and I will share my enthusiasm or my stress or whatever with you, and we will continue this adventure because I hope to document-ish every so often my experience as to what's going on, whether it's the cosplay I'm setting up, whether it's some crazy shit happen with Comic-Con and we get to go, don't get to go, knock on wood, I hope we get to go. I will let you know what is in store. And then you guys can maybe use this to see if you want to ever experience the frustration that is trying to attend San Diego Comic-Con.